Christmas rapidly approaching, there are a number of organizations and businesses who need your help in helping others. 13 News reporter Tiffany Lopez joins us now live from our Huntington newsroom with more on how you can give as well. Tiffany. Good evening, Jennifer. Uh, the holidays aren't just a time for hope, but they're also a time for help. And whether you're giving or receiving, it really takes the community coming together to make sure that everybody has a great holiday. We serve about 89% of working families with children. And the children are the reason the Facing Hunger Food Bank is asking for your help this holiday season. They need extra donations of peanut butter and protein bars. This time of year, there are longer holiday breaks for kids in school. So those kids that we serve with backpacks need more food because we don't have the breakfast and lunch that they receive at school. She says families shouldn't have to pick between what to eat and what goes under the tree. And for the last three holiday seasons, Texas Roadhouse has made sure those who served are themselves served. Anyone can adopt a veteran from their veteran tree and give them a Christmas they'll never forget. We have a Christmas party planned. Veterans asking for things like clothes, shoes, even a watch. They love it. It's amazing. You know, there's so much for that goes on in Christmas for the community, but I think a lot of times the uh, the veterans are forgotten about. Local churches are giving too. Information and referral at the Cabell County Library is having signups Thursday for a basket filled with Christmas dinner. We send it out to the churches depending on your criteria, what's going to help you the best, and they get the baskets ready based on the information we give, the number of people in the household, the number of kids in the household. Now, they are expecting to help about 250 people with those baskets. And if you're interested in signing up for one, tomorrow is the only day that you can do that. It's at INR on the third floor of the Cabell County Library. Now, you, it's at 9 a.m. And you do have to have documentation for that. I've listed what you needed on the website, WOWKTV.com. Reporting live in Huntington, Tiffany Lopez, 13 News, working for you. Tiffany, thanks so much. What a wonderful program and effort there.